Hello, dedicated viewers. Join me, Julie, as we explore the lives of the Duggar. So, Joanna Duggar and Austin Forsyth are making some big moves, literally and figuratively. They've just found a buyer for their Arkansas home that was on the market for $369,000. And it seems like they're ready to embrace a whole new lifestyle. A pending offer is on the table, meaning they're pretty close to sealing the deal. This news comes hot on the heels of Joanna's announcement to her followers that they're packing up and moving into a rental home. While they search for their next dream property, their three-bedroom, three-bathroom house has been home for almost five years, but now they're looking to start fresh, and, by the sound of it, with a bit more space for the kids to run around. The home itself is something pretty special. Sitting on just under an acre of land, it's nestled near. M.T. Kessler. Giving the family immediate access to some amazing hiking and biking trails at Kessler Mountain Regional Park. Joy and Austin really put some work into this place, remodeling it while keeping its charm intact. Hardwood floors, an open floor plan, a bright, modern kitchen with granite countertops. The whole nine yards. Oh, and did I mention the stone fireplace? This place has all the cozy vibes. But why the sudden move? According to Joanna, the couple has always dreamed of having some land, a real farm experience. She said they want room for the kids to roam, maybe even grow into that farm life they've been dreaming about. It seems like a natural next step for them, especially with their growing family, but it's also sparked a bit of speculation among fans. People are wondering whether this move could be more than just a lifestyle upgrade, especially with some past financial hiccups lurking in the background. Now, this is where things get interesting. You might remember that Joanna and Austin had some issues with back taxes. In December 2023, it came to light that they owed over $1,300 to the IRS for unpaid taxes from 2019, 2021, and 2022. While they did manage to pay it off by March 2024, it definitely raised some eyebrows. Fans on Reddit have been buzzing about this whole situation, with some wondering if selling their home and moving into a rental could hint at deeper financial problems. One fan even said, guess they banking money, while another questioned the move, pointing out that going from owning a home to renting feels like a step backward. But here's the thing, Joanna and Austin are no strangers to buying and selling properties. Austin, in particular, has a whole career centered around real estate. He buys homes, renovates them, and sells them for a profit. In fact, just last year, they sold an 11-acre property for $165,000, which they had originally bought for around $159,500. So, yeah, they know what they're doing in the real estate world. However, not everything has gone smoothly. They had big plans to turn that 11-acre lot into an RV park. But those dreams got shut down when the local planning commission denied their rezoning request. That was a blow to what could have been a pretty lucrative project for them. What makes all of this even more intriguing is how the Duggars' financial lives have come under scrutiny ever since the family's reality TV empire, Counting On, was cancelled in June 2021. And, of course, we all know why it got cancelled, Josh Duggar, Joanna's older brother, was arrested and convicted on CP charges, which shocked and horrified the public. The fallout from Josh's crimes has affected the entire Duggar family, both financially and personally. Joanna even testified that she lost several brand deals after the release of her brother's police report, citing the emotional distress and damaged reputation that came with it. Her testimony in a lawsuit filed by her and her sisters revealed some pretty eye-opening details about how the scandal affected her career. Joanna admitted she lost the majority of her business deals due to the negative press surrounding Josh. In 
2020. She earned $40,000 from her YouTube channel and social media promotions alone. That might sound like a lot, but she mentioned that it's been tough to maintain partnerships, especially with companies hesitant to stick around after starting deals with her. Joanna, much like other influencers, relies heavily on these brand deals to supplement her income. She promotes everything from beauty products to baby supplies, home goods, and even electronics. Usually, it's the typical influencer setup, take some pictures, post them on Instagram with a discount link, and watch the money roll in. But it's clear that the Duggar name, once so marketable, now carries a bit of baggage thanks to Josh's crimes and the general decline of their reality TV presence. The couple's YouTube channel has become a bigger focus for Joanna as they try to keep the family's finances afloat. With three kids. Gideon. Evelyn. And baby. Gunner. They've got plenty of family content to share, and they've built up a loyal following. But is that enough? Some fans are worried that despite Austin's skills in flipping homes and Joanna's influencer gigs, the transition from owning to renting could be a red flag for deeper financial instability. And, speaking of family, Joanna and Austin's real estate journey also brings Jim Bob Duggar into the conversation. Jim Bob originally bought the house Joanna and Austin just sold for a mere $30,000 back in 2010. He then sold it to them in 2019 for just $10. Yes, you heard that right. $10. This family has a history of unconventional financial deals, and it's hard not to wonder how much support they might still be getting from Jim Bob, even as they venture into more independent projects. All this leaves us with a lot to unpack. Sure, they're selling a house, moving into a rental, and dreaming of land and a farm for their kids. But beneath the surface, there's a lot more going on, past financial struggles, career setbacks, and questions about how sustainable their income really is now that reality TV and brand deals aren't as secure as they once were. Could this move be a fresh start, or is it a sign that things aren't as picture-perfect as they seem? At the end of the day, Joanna and Austin are doing what they've always done, hustling and figuring things out as they go. They've faced setbacks, from denied business ventures to family scandals that have tarnished their reputation. But they keep moving forward, and maybe this next chapter, whether it's in a rental or on a sprawling farm, will bring them some much-needed stability. Alright, that's all I've got for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what you think about Joanna and Austin's big move. Do you think this is just another real estate flip for them, or could there be something more going on? I'll be reading through your thoughts, and I'm super curious to hear what everyone has to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.